Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Nitesh Tiwari Technical Hub. So in this video, we are talking about the MATLAB and sibling based experiment on power system. And the first experiment is determination of ABCD constant for transmission line. So as we know that there are three types of transmission line in power system. First one is, uh, one is the short transmission line. Second one is the medium transmission line. And third one is the long transmission line. So I think that you will uh, aware about the ABCD parameter of these transmission lines. So I just want to demonstrate the what is the ABCD constant. Yeah, and if you don't know earlier that what is the value of ABCD constant for trans trans uh, short transmission line, medium transmission line, and long transmission line, then you can refer to any reference books. So this is the uh, ABCD parameter of uh, short transmission line. And uh, we know that the short transmission line, uh, medium transmission line, or long transmission line is choose depending on the what is the length of line, or we can say the length and frequency of the line. So here the value of A is 1, value of B is Z, value of C is 0, and value of D is 1. It means only we need to compute the value of Z for calculating the ABCD parameter of this short transmission line. So for computing the value of Z, we know we, are, we need to know the value of resistance and value of inductance per kilometer for the short transmission line. Uh, this is the ABCD parameter of medium transmission line. And for this, we are considering the nominal team model. If you are considering, uh, considering the nominal pi model, then this ABCD value will going to be changed. So for medium transmission line, the nom in the nominal T model, the value of Y and Z we need to compute. And for computing the value of Y and Z, for medium transmission line, we, are, we have to know the value of capac capacitance too. Because in medium transmission line, we also consider the value of capacitance. Whereas in short transmission line, we are neglecting the value of capacitance. And this is the long transmission line. Uh, ABCD parameter of long transmission line. So let us see how we uh, implement these equations in MATLAB and we compute the, these values with the help of MATLAB and Simulink software. So this is our MATLAB and Simulink software and we, uh, if we want to calculate ABCD parameter, so let us see what we can, we need to do. So first of all, we have to clear and uh, all the screen and work space, all the things. So first of all, we have to know the what is the input uh, value of the length of transmission line in kilometers. Why? Because depending on the uh, length of transmission line, we need we are selecting the uh, type of tra tra transmission line. Either it was the uh, short transmission line, medium transmission line, or long transmission line. So once we uh, in, uh, input the length of transmission line, we have to know what is the per kilometer resistance in ohm. So this value is stored in R. After that, we are need to input what is the per kilometer inductance in L. So we are not uh, input here, uh, we are not taking the input of capacitance here because if we have a, a short transmission line, then we don't need to, uh, the capacitance. And if we have uh, medium or long transmission line, we then we also take the input of capacitance too. So uh, as this, uh, if this inductance in the milli Henry, so we are converting it in the Henry. And after that, we are calculating the inductance value. So this inductance is coming in the per kilometer. So if you are uh, uh, multiply this per kilometer inductance to the, what is the length of the transmission line? So we are calculating the total inductance of transmission line. And similarly, we are, we can calculate the, this resistance value of uh, overall tra transmission line because this r is what r is the per kilometer resistance so in the per, with per kilometer resistance we are uh, multiplying the this length of transmission line so we are calculating the r in ohm instead of uh, ohm per uh, in per kilometer so after computing the resistance and, and inductance of this transmission line we, we can compute the value of this z and z is what complex value of r and this uh, uh, 2 pi fl as we know so this, this will give the R plus two pi, uh, plus Z two pi FL. And after that, we are also, uh, in a, I mean, set the value of Z that is uh, root minus one. So 
in this coding, if if you are uh, assuming that uh, your if your length of line is less than or equal to 60 kilometer, then we are uh, assuming then this is the short transmission line. So, if your length uh, of transmission line is less than 60 kilometer, then what is the value of A, B, C, D? So A is one. I mean uh, B is Z, C is zero, and A is A. A is what? A is one only. So as you see here, uh, A, B, C, D is one, Z, zero, one. So similar value is uh, coming here, one, Z, zero, and one. A is what? One. So one, Z, zero, one. So if you are in a, uh, I mean placing the input uh, which is below the 60 kilometer or less than 60 kilometer, then this code is shift to this uh, thing, and you, uh, the A, B, C, D parameter comes for the short transmission line and if you are uh, length of transmission line is uh, occur between 60 kilometer to 160 kilometer then uh, this code will assume that uh, uh, you are talking about the medium transmission line so for medium transmission line they take the input of capacitance to as this capacitance is not required for short, short transmission line but this uh, capacitance is required for medium transmission line and this is the microfan uh, it, it is computed in microfan so we need to convert this micro fan, uh, farad to the this uh, farad and after that we have to calculate the value of y and uh, we already calculate the value of z here so we all we always have the value of z here so with the help of y and z we can calculate the value of a b c d of the medium transmission line for t model so this is the t model and this is the 1 plus y z by 2 so similarly we are calculating the this what 1 plus y z by 2 and similarly this value b c d also we are computing so if your length is below 60 or equal to 60 then uh, this code will execute if your length will uh, between 60 and 160 then this code will uh, uh, compute and if your uh, length of transmission line below 160 kilometer then this code will execute and this will nothing but the uh, code of your uh, long transmission line so for long transmission line also we we'll, we have to compute uh, we have to take the input of the capacitance after this capacitance we are compute the value of y and after that we have to calculate the value of a b c d so as you see in the law in the long transmission line this is the cos root y z so we have this as you see uh, what is the value of a cos uh, hyperbolic this k so what is k square root of y z so this is the cos uh, hyperbolic y z uh, i mean the root y z so similarly uh, uh, a, B, C, D, you have to calculate. So, uh, after that, you are calculating the value of A, B, C, D. We are just uh, so need to display this value. So, value of A is displaying, value of B is displaying, and value of C is displaying, and value of this D is displaying. So, let us see what happened in the practically if you are, uh, I mean, run this code. So, first of all, we just uh, run this code, and after when we are running this code, so what is the first thing we have to see so what is the length of transmission line it will ask so for example we are putting the 10 kilometers so if we are putting 10 kilometer length it means we are talking about the short transmission line and for short transmission line what is the value of a b c d that is one z zero one as you know earlier so one, uh, what is the per kilometer resistance for example we are taking one uh, Ohm resistance in per kilometer, one milli Henry inductance in per kilometer. So this is the value of uh, ABCD, uh, what they will compute. So this is A is one, C is zero, D is one, and this is the value of Z, what they are going to be computed. It means as you see, if you are inputting the length of transmission line is 10 kilometer, then it will calculate the ABCD parameter in such a way that they are assuming that you are talking about the short transmission line. For example, if you are, uh, 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 if you run this code once again and you are to, uh, considering this uh, medium as a medium transmission line so for medium transmission line for example this is the you have to take the length between 60 and 160 for example we are taking the length 100 kilometer so it will assume it is as a medium transmission line and we are putting the length one uh, ohm, res ohm resistance in per kilometer one milli Henry inductance in per kilometer and capacitance it will also need to we need to uh, input because for medium transmission line we need to input the capacitance so one uh, microfarad capacitor so these are the abcd parameter for uh, medium transmission and similarly you, you can calculate the value of a uh, long transmission line let us see uh, if you are running this code one against and we put the value below beyond the 160 kilometer for example we are putting the 190 kilometer then it will uh, shift this code to the 
long transmission line and this is the abcd parameter what they are going to be calculated so this is all about this uh, abcd code and uh, one, and one more thing if you want to calculate the value of nominal pi model then this uh, the abcd value will going to be changed and you just change the code of medium transmission line here uh, after that if you want to uh, change the length of uh, short transmission line depending on the requirement because this uh, length of transmission line depending on the frequency too so uh, if you are considering 50 hertz then you have the different value if you have you are con uh, considering the 60 hertz then you have to different value if you are uh, considering the communication line in so the frequency in kilohertz then you have the different uh, length of line for the short medium and the long so depending on the your requirement you just change this value and you just uh, calculate the abcd parameter for uh, your uh, transmission lines or also you can utilize it for the communication line too so thank you everyone this is all about this video thank you everyone thank you all